through there. You can also use live booleans to do this. Um, kind of depends on how you want to work. Uh, for example, we can go through here and we can say it's pop a cylinder on here really quick. Actually, we'll turn on radial symmetry again for this one if we can. I just clipped right through the middle of that one, didn't I? Okay, that's not going to help. So let's do this. Transform X symmetry. So at least we can turn off radial. So we can at least put it in the middle-ish and then we can stick this here. Turn off X symmetry, go to unmesh mesh center. So I can move this in here. Now, if I want to Boolean this out, uh, I can, we talked about this before, we can go through here and polygroup as a Dynamesh sub and do all our operations. What I'm going to do is I'm going to previs this. So I'm going to do a split unmass points, shoot this underneath it, turn that to negative, turn on live Boolean, move this into place. And now if we turn on polyframe, you're going to see this is our preview of what we're getting with our live boolean. Of course, you can use array mesh and masking and dynamesh, anything you want to do. If you want to get rid of this faceting, again, we can go in here to our crease and turn on dynamic. And then, then we can do shift D to turn dynamic on and off. We'll get to that in a minute. So now we get that. And then you can either go down here to your boolean operations and make this boolean mesh, or you can go, you know what? I like what I see. I'm going to stay in little concept -y dynamesh mode. So I'm going to turn off live boolean, take this one here, go to merge, down, that will tag this as a Dynamesh Boolean control drag and it'll cut it out. Now we did have that faceting in there uh, because if we isolate this again and we do a, another, we'll do a split hidden this time, and we'll put this little bent arrow to put it underneath. Uh, when you do a dynamic, it's just a preview. So we'll go ahead and apply those subdivisions and then take this one, merge it down. Um, oh, I forgot to make it subtractive. Isolate this one, split hidden, make it subtractive, merge it down. And, uh, oops, I did it in the wrong order. Here, you are fine. You are fine. Merge down, there we go. So now that's the operation we have. And then this is just Dynamesh. So you can continue clipping, continue trimming, continue whatever you want to do.